liquid scale data in SPSS. Uh, in this video, we will learn about how to enter liquid scale questions in SPSS. Suppose you want to measure people's attitudes towards sweets. For this, you might ask them to record how they feel about the following statements. Uh, for example, I like chocolates. I like uh, caramels, I like gummies and uh, I like hard candies. Uh, following table shows uh, uh, the response uh, from a respondent. Suppose the respondent answer uh, these questions and um, he tick the different uh, items accordingly. To enter this data we first <coughs> code uh, these uh, responses for example we will code these responses uh, in form of numeric for example strongly agree would be coded as 5 agree as 4 neutral uh, as uh, 3 disagree as 2 and strongly disagree as 1 uh, we have an other alternative uh, coding for example strongly agree as uh, 1 agree as 2 neutral as 3 disagree 4 and strongly disagree 5 uh, it is uh, important to note that this coding mechanism will uh, change the way of interpretation. For example, if you code strongly agree as 5, then it means that uh, the average score of all these questions or uh, the sum of these questions will be higher. Um, for example, uh, for this four question, if uh, someone strongly agree with uh, all of these uh, questions then it means that the maximum score will be 20 on the other hand if you have coded strongly as x1 then it means that uh, the minimum score regarding strongly agree will be 4 now we on the SPSS after uh, and uh, we'll learn about how to enter these responses how to enter these questions and responses First, we will code our questions. Uh, first, we will name our questions. For example, question 1, question 2, and uh, similarly, question 3 and question 4. And uh, we uh, have given these, the, these questions in a sequence. Uh, we can also use uh, their some uh, labels however it is important to define the response numerical code for example by one we mean that strongly agree and uh, we will add it and uh, by four we mean that the respondent is agree to the question and uh, by 3 respondent means that uh, he is undecided about uh, the likeness of the candies likeness of the sweets by 2 we mean that he is disagree and uh, similarly by 1 means that respondent is strongly disagree After adding all these uh, four options, uh, press OK and you will see that in values uh, the text will be changed from none to some ended data. Uh, you can copy this and, and paste it in the question 2, question 3 and question 4. Instead of typing again and again, it will save your time and uh, let's we move to move to data and uh, now we can enter the responses uh, by the, say respondent one the response of uh, question one i like chocolate is uh, strongly agree we will press here five as we have coded strongly agree to five the response of question two i like caramels uh, is again five the response of I like gummies is uh, undecided and uh, the response to question I like hard candies is 4. 
now this is the response of uh, response of uh, the questions from respondent one and uh, for second respondent you will put the data here in uh, second row because uh, row indicate uh, the all the information from the respondent one while col column represents the response of uh, some individual question by all of the respondent for second respondent let i put some arbitrary data for example 3 4 1 and uh, 2 for respondent 3 we will enter suppose 4 4 2 and 1 uh, it is also important to note some other properties of the variable for example the level of measurement is undecided we should change it to ordinal and uh, it will help in uh, uh, some specific uh, statuses which are related to non-parametric test or uh, comparison test by pressing this button you can see uh, what are the numeric what are the string values used for this numerical code uh, let's press it and uh, you will see that 5 is converted to strongly agree 3 is converted to neutral and 4 is converted to agree we can compute uh, some desired statistics on these uh, responses or the data set uh, for example we can compute some frequencies of each questions descriptive statuses or even we can compute to their scores or averages and uh, then we can plot some uh, different graphic representations for these watch uh, my other videos thank you